Hi, it's Dwyer. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Keeping it free. Blogspot.com, a free site. It's Thursday, October 21st, 2021. Let's talk cryptocurrency. Let's talk about plays that have an upside much greater, much greater than the plus 600 that you're getting right now on Calid Plan or the plus 700 that you're getting right now on Jamal Herring, right? Let's look at the world of crypto, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now first, in the world of crypto, let's be clear here. As I've said in other videos, there are two groups. There's Bitcoin and then there's everything else. Look, I own some Ethereum, right? Fortunately, I also own some Bitcoin. Ethereum's now over $4,000 a coin. Hey, I'm happy. I'll take the profits. But don't kid yourself. Ethereum doesn't have the ceiling that Bitcoin has. Doesn't have the upside. Peter Thiel, very successful investor, gave an interview recently where he talks about how he regrets not buying more Bitcoin, right? It's clear he prefers Bitcoin over Ethereum, right? And of course, the reasons why are obvious. Bitcoin, of course, is proof of work. Ethereum is going to proof of stake. So Bitcoin is inherently going to be more decentralized than Ethereum. We're overlooking the value of decentralization today. I'm just telling you, when governments start to come after crypto, you're better served in a decentralized cryptocurrency. Of course, Bitcoin is the granddaddy of them all. It has the longest history. More importantly, it has the best history. Right? Do your research. Just understand, Bitcoin is the best play in the space. This morning, Bitcoin is down. Ethereum is up. Your vision needs to be much longer than this morning. Right? You need to understand that El Salvador has gone to a Bitcoin standard. No country has gone to an Ethereum standard. Bitcoin really has no competitors. Ethereum has several, as we're finding out, right? Avalanche, Solana, which is up big, etc. But let's talk about another crypto. It's down this morning. That's why I'm mentioning it, right? Let's mention coins that are even better bargains than they normally are, right? When the market overlooks them. It's an asymmetrical bet, folks. It's one of the best bets in crypto. What I want to encourage people here to do is to look at my earlier videos on Ripple. <coughs> XRP. Right? Look at my earlier videos on XRP and go to the comment section. I understand the SEC is in a pitched battle right now with XRP here in the United States. Right? Ripple, of course, is the parent company. Um, in the comment section, you're going to find comments on people, from people who are skeptics <clears throat> of XRP. Right? They believe the SEC somehow is going to shut down this international cryptocurrency. Right? They believe that XRP is doomed. A lot of people are in an XRP competitor, Stellar Lumens. Okay, fair enough, right? It's important to know the different sides of an argument. Here's what I want people to think about. And I'm just going to focus on recent news with XRP, right? First, you want to be on both sides of the play, right? If you believe in decentralized cryptocurrency, great. Get in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is going to test the efficacy of central banks. There is no question about that. Right? A lot of people are going to start to ask the basic question. Why am I in sovereign-issued fiat currency? 
Does that retain my purchasing power better than decentralized, international, non-government issued cryptocurrency? Right? But, isn't there a huge market? And I mean a huge market for central bank issued digital currency. Aren't we going to go through a period of time where the People's Bank of China, the Bank of England, the Federal Reserve, the U.S. banking system, the U.S. Treasury, more accurately, decide to issue competitors to cryptocurrency. Aren't there going to be state-backed entrance into the market in an ill-fated, in my opinion, attempt to dislodge non-sovereign cryptocurrency? Right? To dislodge Bitcoin. Isn't that central bank digital currency market going to be worth trillions? Well, folks, I just want to point out that if, in fact, these central banks decide to compete with cryptocurrency, and it's going to happen because these governments don't want to give up power, right? Then you're looking at a group of cryptocurrencies that are set to profit big time, right? Not just XRP, but you need to look at all of these cryptocurrencies like Quant, for example. Well, a few days ago, Ripple became a founding member of the Digital Pound Foundation, whose stated purpose is to help the United Kingdom develop a digital pound. Right, the United Kingdom is one of the biggest financial hubs on the planet. Now you can imagine if the Digital Pound Foundation helps contribute to a digital pound that's viable, how many other sovereign nations are going to quickly pivot to have Ripple and its cryptocurrency, XRP, help them with their own central bank digital currency. Just imagine if the UK goes to a digital pound, the trillions of dollars that are immediately going to be converted over to the digital pound and just imagine the profits that you'll get if you have some XRP. Well, let's talk about what's happening more recently. And again, Cripple's down, uh, excuse me, XRP is down today, right? Just understand, within the last 48 hours, Al Ansari Exchange has announced that it will use RippleNet for remittances to a country with more than 30 million people. Malaysia. Right? Understand, the remittance market is huge. It involves many countries. RippleNet is at the center of it. Understand, too, you have a product called RippleNet Cloud that is made for banks and financial institutions. So, as legacy finance transitions to digital currency, there are huge profits to be made. You're extremely well positioned if you own some XRP. In the United States, I need for people to understand that there is a distinct possibility 
distinct if you've been following the trial that XRP beats the SEC right understand we just got a Bitcoin futures ETF approved in the United States the political winds are blowing in XRP's favor I'm positive that there is pressure behind the scenes for that SEC lawsuit against Ripple to settle. So given the market opportunity in helping central banks develop their own digital currencies and helping facilitate remittances across borders, and given the potential upside, the minute a resolution with the SEC that allows Ripple and XRP to continue on in the United States is reached, folks, you're talking about huge upside. Right? So, forgive me. I understand there are many skeptics in the United States about Ripple and its cryptocurrency XRP. Just understand that Ripple is international. XRP is international. Just understand that the transitioning of central banks from legacy finance toward cryptocurrency is international. Just understand that the profit opportunity for Ripple is substantial internationally. Don't focus too much on the SEC's prosecution. Focus instead on the international profit potential. Right? Don't get too caught up in today. Right? Ethereum up, Bitcoin, XRP down. All that means is you're getting even more value from owning Bitcoin and XRP today than you were yesterday. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Full disclosure, I own Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. Right? I believe long term, long term, Bitcoin offers the best opportunity. Right? But I also believe that you're looking at huge profits huge profits given its cost advantage given the antiquated nature of the swift system look that up s-w-i-f-t given its possible use by central banks to develop digital currencies i think you're looking at huge upside with xrp i believe you're getting that cryptocurrency at almost a steal right now price wise that's how i look at it let me hear from you i look forward to your comments i encourage anyone viewing this video on youtube to carefully look through the comment section because these cryptocurrency videos do spur discussion do have dissenters do have diverse points of view you should know all sides of the issue before you invest. Also, please do not consider this video to be financial advice. You should consult with your own group of financial advisors before making your investment decisions. Thanks for stopping by.